Hey everybody, what's going on? John Haddock here from Think About Comics, joined by... Your boy, we have that! Today we're talking about a new Marvel 1 Alien issue 1. What'd you think, man? Ooh, man, this was, this was tough. I'm just saying, look, we got a lot of wording in this. We developing a novel in this thing. I'm just saying, it's a lot to deal with. Um, I don't know what I can do but say, yo, okay, this is the way we gonna go. Alright, I'm in, but I think you could have did a little something different. I, I I'm I'm looking for Hicks and, and Ripley and, and some other stuff, and you give me a whole new cast of characters, and bottom line, I'm seeing you're still trying to make a clone of Ripley. I'm seeing that you you're using some of the movie stuff because you said that it's in the in the in the in the one of the panels. Yo, you got everybody in therapy. Even though you got one dude in therapy, it feel like everybody need to be in therapy. Like the son, the, 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 the therapist, who is a robot. I mean, yeah, look, I'm just saying it was a lot for doing a little. I don't know. I, I, I just think that was too much. I, I mean, I think this book did a really great job on how it how what needed to be done. You have you're you're keeping canon from this from the movies. Yeah. You mentioned Alien and Alien ones in, in your uh, well Alien and Aliens in your opening stuff where you have you know the where where you have who wrote it and all that. Yeah. So you can sit there and tell okay where does this where does the story take place? Yeah. I don't want to see another Ripley story or a Hicks story. I feel like their story is done, and every time they try to go back to it, it's terrible. Mm. Um, and I think Marvel had to do their own thing just because you know Dark Horse has done such. So it's such a good job at telling and introducing new things in the alien lore and predator lore yeah. that since they're taking this over, it had to be something new for themselves. And I think introducing this new character, Gabriel, who survived some kind of alien encounter and I guess destroyed them, and we get introduced to a new kind of like alien xenomorph yeah, female yeah, thing. Yeah, which so, I mean, hot. Yeah, yeah. And, and Marvel's doing a really great job of introducing new characters and explaining stuff mm -hmm. and setting up a really good pace for what issue two could be. Um, Marvel had a lot on their plate and a lot of hype to live up to and a lot of previous great comics that Dark, House, Dark Horse put out. And I think they did a fantastic job at... Uh, just putting something that lives up to what the other Alien comics were and what they what they set for Alien fans. Uh, and this book does a really great job. Um, now you have, you know, Gabriel's going to have to go back into the space station after he left, he retired because his son stole information with him. His son's in league with these um, anti Wayland yutani people where they had, I don't know if Ripley clones, but they had different forms of the Xenomorph. It yeah. looks like it was fused with different animals. So there's definitely going to be a new xenomorph outbreak on the space station, and his uh, and Gabriel is going to have to go back out of retirement and fight them off. Great first issue, a lot of hype, a lot of I, I guess the word I'm looking for is a lot of you know stuff to live up to. Okay. You know you had you have so many great dark horse stories. You have so many good alien stories that I think a lot of people pass over. And for Marvel to come in and say, you know what, this is our property now. We're going to do our own thing. Alien 1 does a really good job at setting the pace for what they want to do. All right. I, I, I feel that you, you feel that they're doing their own thing. Yes. All right. But I feel that they're using old stuff and trying to write a new story. I think that they should have just started from square one and did a whole new story because bottom line is this is supposed to be a horror comic book and I ain't get scared at all in this and I'm telling you matter of fact well because the cat's out of the bag what no because this is not issue number one and issue number but you one know you, what alien is the, whoa, 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 whoa. You no you give me of alien. You, you, wait a minute I got 50 plus years of Alien with Dark Horse. I ain't got Marvel Alien. Yeah, but I, if, I feel if you hold their hand, if you, if I picked this book up and they were, they were holding my hand like a brand new Alien story, because let's face it, people who are getting this book are going to be your Alien fans who have read them. Yeah. And when Dark Horse was publishing them, you look at the last, like, you know, The Dead Orbit and those other books, mm -hmm. 
they sold decent, but no one was going after them. Marvel being, you know, one of the big two, one of the bigger pushers of comic books, for them to say, hey, look, this is our book. We're going we're gonna to put it out. Starting up from brand new without encountering the alien, we've all seen that story before. We know what to expect. Giving us something a little different. I, I mean, you could make the argument, oh, we've seen an alien take over a space station before. But, I mean, that's but that's what it is. It's going to be an alien infestation. That's the stories that you need to be told. You can't – if you set back and retold the Nostromo with a different set of people, it's you're just going to feel like you're reading Alien 1 with a new cast. That's why I think with them introducing this new character, he's already dealt with the aliens before. He's going to go back and deal with them. It's kind of like us, the readers, yeah. reading it like, okay, cool, we've already dealt with the aliens too – so is this character, now he's going back to deal with them, and we're going back to deal with them, too, with him. That's what I think the, what Marvel did with this so well. Okay. Well, I, hey, for you alien lovers, this should be great for yep. you. For me, I wanted to see Cat Marvel flying into no, a jump. absolutely not. And then all of a sudden, boom! I want it. I want this to be in my Marvel universe. No, absolutely. Not. <laughs> I don't want. I don't want to see Iron Man in X Men versus <laughs> Aliens. I don't want to see it. So bad. No, but hey, overall, guys, great book. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I think B kind of wanted something else from the book. I don't know. But hey, as always, give us that like, give us that subscribe. Let us know what you think in the comments section. Me and him do a really good job of trying to get back to you in the comments. As always, guys, thanks for checking us out. Peace.